Hello, good morning children. Hope you all are doing well. Right now we are dealing with block 2 that is my school. In our last class we learned different places in our school. Is it? Yes. Today we will learn the different uses of different places in our school. We use different places in the school in many different ways, isn't it? So, our aim is to understand the uses of different places in the school. The key word for today is borrow. Now, children, we know that we have many different places in our school. Here are few of them, that is the staff room, canteen, library, classroom and principal's room. Now children, why do you have so many rooms in your school and what is the use of each room? Now look at these pictures. Here we can see library first. What can you do in a library? We can borrow and read books from there. Then comes the playground. We play in a playground with our friends. Then the canteen. We get food and we eat from here. Then the classroom. We study here. Then comes the principal's room. We can meet the principal sir here and the principal sir sits and works in the principal's room. Then comes the staff room. The teachers sit and do their work when they are not teaching in a class. Then the assembly area. All the students, teachers and principal get together here and our programs are also conducted here. Now, can you tell me some of the places that all of the schools should have? Yes, all the schools should have a classroom, a place to play, a place to wash hands and a place to eat. Every school should have a toilet too. Here is a question for you. Why do we have so many classrooms in the school? Can you answer to this question? Yes, we have a classroom for every class in our school. This is why students can study different subjects in different classrooms and not get disturbed. Dear children, now this is the practice time for you. Take out your EVS workbook, page number 15. Okay? Now the first question is, a few pictures are given to you and you have to write the name of these places and also what you actually do there. So the first picture is of a music room. Okay, so you have to write there music room and what you actually do there. You learn music in a music room. So accordingly, you have to write for all the pictures given below. Now, the second question is, why do we need so many rooms in a school? So, this question we have already discussed before. So, you have to write the answer in the space given below. Thank you children and see you again.